Fifty years ago, for the first time, a man left the Earth and traveled into space. Who was Yuri Gagarin, and how did he become the first man in space? Even as a young boy in Western Russia, Gagarin had always dreamt of becoming a pilot, and after graduating from pilot school, he volunteered for the Soviet space program. Yuri and me, we had a reputation for being light-headed pilots. We played sea battles during some lectures. Clearly, we were very much alike in our nature. Even now, whenever I close my eyes, I can see his face. So Russian, so bright, his light brown hair, his big blue eyes shining like emeralds, and that smile, that immediate smile on his face. Gagarin's friendliness and intelligence made him popular among his comrades even before his flight. He was also a great father, as his daughter Elena recalls. When home, my father was the same simple, charming, kind and cheerful man as he was known to other people. Whenever he could, he gave us all his time. The Soviet Human Spaceflight Project, the Vostok program, was an ambitious effort to confirm Soviet leadership in space, first established with the launch of Sputnik just three years earlier. They were not just important engineers and scientists. They were true visionaries who believed that the manned exploration of space and planets was their ultimate goal. And they were eager to move in that direction. Although several launches had successfully carried animals in space by that time, it was still unknown how a man would react to the weightlessness and isolation of a space flight. It's like dressing a man in a suit and shoving him into a blast furnace saying, don't be afraid, the suit will protect you. But nobody knows for sure if it will actually protect you or not. It's exactly the same thing here. Don't worry, everything will be fine. We just don't know what exactly it will be. It's up to you to tell us when you return. The flight that lasted only 108 minutes proved that a space pilot could successfully operate the spacecraft, communicate with the mission control center and take meals in orbit. He didn't get to actually pilot the spacecraft. Although he had all necessary controls to conduct a manual descent and landing, in case the automation would have malfunctioned. Gagarin's historical flight made him famous all around the globe, opening the way for further manned missions. What it didn't change was Gagarin's personality. I should say I even feel somewhat uncomfortable in front of my friends that my first flight lasted only an hour and 48 minutes. But this, of course, was only the beginning, only the first scouting of space. Although Yuri Gagarin didn't live to make another flight, he left the legacy of the pioneering spirit, discovery and friendship that has shaped human spaceflight ever since. Dozens of cosmonauts and astronauts followed in Gagarin's footsteps to conduct ever more challenging orbital missions in the continuing human exploration of the universe.